Makers are still busy at it right now. Both casinos and women's rights are hanging in the balance at this hour. Our Capitol correspondent Pat Bailey has been covering the session since day one. We want to get right to him live in Albany with more on what's happening uh, and might happen actually still uh, the rest of the night here. Pat. Well, Dory, a lot could happen in the rest of the night. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. But first, if you remember back in January when the governor at his State of the State address outlined a very progressive and aggressive agenda. And earlier this week and even today on the last day of session, the governor saying he's satisfied with what passed this year, especially those things he considered to be a, t a top priority this legislative session. In January, Governor Andrew Cuomo made it clear what his agenda would be this session. He was adamant about certain things. No one needs 10 bullets to kill a deer. It's her body. It's her choice. Here is what the governor's report card looks like six months later. A deal was reached on minimum wage. It will immediately rise next year. The SAFE Act was passed on the first day of session, although now parts of it are still being amended. And the governor delivered on his word to rebuild after Sandy, securing billions of dollars from the federal government. Here is what fell short. Decriminalizing small amounts of marijuana. It's still not a law. Nor is there a law to address public financing or corruption. It's a remarkably high completion rate between what we set out to do in January and what we are actually um, have agreements on with the legislature. And there are still two major issues out there still being discussed on this the last day of session. The casino bill is expected to pass. On women's equality, nine out of the governor's ten proposals are likely to become law. Despite the governor's opinion, lawmakers from the capital region are mixed on how they would define progress this session. And I, I don't uh... I don't place blame at the uh, feet of the governor. I just think it's been the problems within the legislature, uh, particularly in the Senate. Quite frankly, it's been a, a trying year in a lot of ways. Now, the governor getting things done on his agenda was not the only thing this year. In fact, it was overshadowed by scandal and corruption. And scandal and corruption made the headlines this, uh, this legislative session, but it was not the only headline. This was also the first year of an independent Democratic conference and Senate Republicans sharing coalition uh, ownership of the state Senate. How did, that ha how did that work out this year? Well, one senator I talked to said it was a failure. Another said that he thinks it's going well. We'll have much more on that part of the story coming up tonight at 6.30. Dory. All right. Can't wait to hear that, Pat. And as for those two major aspects that we still have left to talk about, casinos, women's equality, again, we said uh, remains to be seen tonight. Where do things stand on both those uh, issues right now? Well, the Senate is expect, expected to take up both bills. Should be no problem on the casino bill. It was passed by the Assembly earlier today. But on women's equality, a late-breaking development. About an hour or so ago, uh, all, all along, Senate Republicans had said that they were not going to vote on the abortion aspect of the uh, women's equality agenda. But an hour or so ago, IDC leader Jeff Klein offered what's called a hostile amendment. He wanted to add the abortion plank to the bill to be voted on today by the Senate. And when you add an abortion, or excuse me, a hostile amendment, that first needs to be voted on to see if it would be allowed. Well, it was voted down. So in a nutshell, there was uh, an attempt to try to get abortion added to the bill, but it was voted down. So the bill will now be voted on in nine separate parts and abortion will not be part of it. All right. Thank you very much. Bringing us up to speed there, Pat Bailey outside the Capitol.